You guys, we finally made it. It's been long overdue, this trip to Sigihor, and we're finally checking in here at the Mandala Tribe. As we've been trying to get to Sigihor for about two months now. Two months. The month that we did record, or did purchase our tickets to get here, it was raining nonstop for like a good two weeks. Two weeks. So there was no point of us coming because we couldn't actually like film and do what we wanted. Exactly. However, the sky is clear, it's blue, we made it to Sigiur. It was so excited <laughs> and we're really excited about what we're seeing. Yes. Like for the next two nights. And I already know I'm going to love, <laughs> just, just trust me, I already know, <laughs> I've seen pictures, I already know I'm going to love this place. However, we're going to go explore it and see it together for the yes. first time. Woo! So. Let's hope I'm right. No, I'm right. I have to be right. You're right? always right. Okay, I'm right. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go, guys. And the good thing is, when you rent a motorbike, which you should, you can park it on the inside, so you know you feel a little bit more, like, at ease. And if you're looking to do a bike rental yourself, there's no shortage of bikes at the port. As soon as you dock, there is a large amount of people asking whether you want a tricycle ride to your resort or if you wanted to rent a bike for yourself. Minimum price that you'll be paying is 350 pesos for the day. But let's keep going. And do not let them tell you otherwise. You can get it for 350. You could probably even get it for 300 if oh, you yeah. other people. So just, just know that, like just know that. Also, if you want to use the rental that we did, we'll link it down below. They're really great. And let's move on. And this is reception when you first walk in. They're working so. <laughs> it's also nice, they perform, or perform. <laughs> they provide <laughs> water for you to drink also, which is super nice. You ready to show them? Let's go. Okay, so of course, lower level, and this is where the bathroom's at. Just wait for that. First off, you saw the swing where I was swinging iconically. Very sturdy, obviously. Look at the little table and chair area for us to sit here and have breakfast. As you can see on the door, there's a mandala. Every individual bungalow has their own. This is ours. It's beautiful. But let me show you what's behind these doors. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. Toilet, beautiful. But like, guys, look at this. This is an outdoor bathroom. How amazing is this? We've had outdoor bathrooms before. They didn't look like this. This is what we've seen in pictures and videos and like places like Bali and other places. The fact that this is our bathroom is like a dream come true and fulfilled. Now that Will has shown you the lower level of the bungalow, we can make our way upstairs and show you the bedroom of where we will be sleeping for the next two days. Let's go. Shoes off. Oh. So as you can see, for the room, the bed's the, the main star of the show. However, what you guys may not have picked up on is we actually have a new traveling companion. Let's show them now. Let's introduce him, let's pick him up. All right, his name's P-Star. Say hi, P-Star. <laughs> He's a little shy, but, um. We actually adopted him in our place in Cebu. We saw him just laying in mud, legitimately in mud. What, the other day? 
the other day. And I'm like, we can't just leave him sitting there. So we took him to the laundry mat, got him washed, got him dry, some new clothes, and um, he's our new buddy. So from now on, you will be seeing P-Star with us. Will's right. We decided to pick him up and, you know, give him a new life, give him a second chance. And here he is exploring the rest of the Philippines with us. And he's gone from zero to hero. We all know how important a mirror is in a hotel room. Nobody wants to walk out of the room looking busted and crusted. So we need a mirror and they have a, actually have a really good mirror. Wow, look at this cute little family. Oh my God, hey Patrick, get your ponytail out. <laughs> But it's a good mirror. Clearly, it fits three people. And look at him. He's, He's so, so cute. cute. Hi. If you guys love P Star, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell us one thing you want to see P Star do while he's in Tiggy Hole. And guys, we realize we're children. We're oversized, overgrown children. But we got to be lighthearted. Life is too serious already. So let's just make the most out of it. If you want to have, like, you know, the breeze in there. The alfresco effect? The alfresco effect. Open these bad boys up. Wow. And there's net. There's net there. So no bugs are getting in. Don't worry about it. And plus, you got this cute garden view. However, However, we prefer an air conditioner. We do. So, no fresh air for us. But if you want it, it's there. Also, because the bathroom is on the second level, well, down below, they give you the oh, world's- the you're world's, blinding us. The world's brightest flashlight. This is amazing. That is bright. Okay, but it's thoughtful, so. Very thoughtful. Good, good call. And we're gonna have Jose do the bed test in a minute, because he's the one, I can sleep on anything, very particular, so Mr. Grumpy Pants is gonna go do his bed test. And by Grumpy Pants, I mean Mr. I can't sleep on that. It's <laughs> gonna be perfect. You guys, in my past life, I was a WWE fighter. Nah. <laughs> okay, you are the biggest fraud. <laughs> okay, the bed is slightly more on the firmer side. And the reason why Will says I have issues with beds is that I sleep on my side. I'm a side sleeper. So when it comes to firm beds, there's a lot of pressure put on my shoulders. So I'm constantly tossing and turning. What is this? Shoulders. Oh. <laughs> shoulders. I can't stand him. I was like, such a fraud. The whole death drop thing is what I taught him. And yet he's over here doing my move. Get out of my room. Move. Bye. Well, let me in. <laughs> He's a child. Of course, you got your own little cover. It's it's full. We just threw all of our bags but in there. But look, that. you got a, they have a hair dryer and it comes with all these hangers. It's enough hangers for all these iconic shirts he has. He has like six of these. Yeah, for anybody that's new to our channel and you see me wearing this shirt over and over and over, do not worry, I have seven of these. So they are washed, dried, and put on my body. So they're clean, don't worry. And then they have a breakfast menu. So they do do breakfast here. So you can get like a Filipino breakfast, uh, more Western style drinks. Let's not forget this massive fan that's right above my head. Look at that. It's huge. There is a dial where you're able to control the speed of the fan. It puts up really good air, by the way. It does. We have it at one. If you set it at five, it feels like you are your hair is like blowing like Beyonce. But you know what? Beyonce gets too much cred, so we're just gonna leave it there. All right, here's a drink catcher. And hopefully it catches all of those nightmares that are coming out of Will's mind at night because I only dream of unicorns, butterflies, and cute little peace art. The only nightmare I have is one behind this camera lens. He, don't, again, I'm gonna tell you guys every time, do not let the grin fool you. <laughs> guys, behind every sinister person, they have that weird smile. Just put it out there. So we show you the room now, and the room's great. It's cute, it's cozy, it's literally where you wanna to come to in the night. However, what really sells this place is what's on the other side of the door, 
what you have to walk through to get here. Like, let's, let's go. The views from the balcony are beautiful. I mean, we're overlooking the terrace here at the Mandala Tribe, and it's filled but nothing with big palm trees, luscious greenery, and it feels like we've been transported into a jungle. And if you guys all know by now that Will and I love greenery and anything that has to do with Mother Nature. So this feels just like home for us. All right, guys, we were hungry. We didn't eat breakfast. It was it's like one o'clock, two o'clock and we came for lunch. And we tend to not stop at restaurants, especially for like lunch and breakfast. We'll just go. Here's the thing, if you live in the Philippines or in Asia basically, you go down the street, you're gonna find people with food and good food. Very, very, very good food. So the easy route would be to go to a restaurant. The better route is just to go along the side of the street and see where they got the pots and the pans and see what they have. Cause chances if they don't have it in this one spot, they're gonna have the house next door or something like that. Anyway, it's, um, really good and it's called Poppy's Food House. We'll show you. Very good. What is that? Pork chop, it's beef, rice, chilies. Literally what I've been looking for. He's such a fraud. He never did this concoction of vinegar, chili, and I'm not sure what this is. It looks like ketchup, but he says it's not ketchup, but again. No, it's not ketchup. I've never seen him do that, and now he's doing it as if he's a local. What's going on, William? Hello. <laughs> What's that face for? Sorry. I think I just got like five of the peppers in one bite. <laughs> I thought you were the king of spicy food. Honey, I am. Very good food. Now we're, we're full, we're gonna go rest a little bit before we go to the beach. Hey. <laughs> Patrick's in timeout. We won't say why. We'll just leave it there. Just so you guys know, check-in time here at Mandala Tribe is at 2 p.m. and check-out is at 11 a.m and they have the receptionist here till 8 p.m. They have Correct. that little bell, but you could ding it and she'll come out and support you. And yeah, also you order your breakfast at the reception and they'll have breakfast ready for you from 7, 7 a.m. and it ends at 11 p.m. Also, if you're looking to book one of these, I think it's like month specific. So in the month of June right now, it's 1,800 pesos per day. Mm -hmm. um, and there are eight of these. And each one has their own little path. So there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Reception. This is absolutely beautiful. It feels like this is our own little jungle oasis. And wherever you turn your eye to, it's nothing but luscious greenery surrounding you. So this is literally our element. We're excited, two days in this beauty. This is the best way to start off our trip here in Sigihor. This is if we didn't already love this place. We got back, we're getting ready to head to the beach, but she knocked on our door and let us know they brought us a snack. Cool. Oh my gosh, is that a raisin? Oh yeah. It's a raisin berry muffin. Mm -hmm. With some calamansi juice. Calamansi juice, which is my favorite. Let's cheers. Here's to an amazing rest of our day and an amazing, amazing, amazing time here in Sikihor. Cheers. We went to one beach. We got there like 
uh, maybe this isn't the beat. <laughs> but then again, what I think people might not realize is that, and I could be completely wrong, but let's not forget Typhoon Odette happened like five or six months ago. Mm -hmm. So she did her destruction. She did. So what might be the beaches before aren't the beaches now. I'm not sure that's what happened, but so far the beaches are very, um, I don't know what, what's the word. They need a little maintenance. It's the best way to put little it love. right now. Yeah, little love. Little love. We are at a beach here in San Juan. We'll put the location down there. And it seems like we're the only ones here. Seriously, like we're the only ones here. Uh, it's low tide, so we're just walking through the sand and hopefully the tide picks up or rises back up so we can jump in the water. Oh, and enjoy it rise up. <laughs> and enjoy a little sunset with you all. You guys, we leave Peace Star for one minute, for one minute alone, unattended. Yes, I know we're bad parents. And look where he ended up at. Look at him. He tried sailing back to Bikini Bottom. Peace Star, come on now. Did we not tell you we are your parents now? And in true fashion, there's a big old cloud covering up the sun right now, or about to. So I'm not sure we'll get a sunset, but that's fine. We came, we saw. It's just nice to feel like this ocean breeze, sea breeze. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Oh, peace star. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I just wonder. It really makes me wonder. Good morning, everyone. I am down here at the lower level. Will is upstairs and he's getting ready. Actually, he's coming down now. Good morning, friends. Good morning, family. Good morning to you all. I come to you. Wait, I forgot. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Good morning, family. Good morning to everyone. I come to you guys from Mandala Tribe. And right now, I'm about to bite in some bomb and pancakes and bananas. Are you want a reaction from it? Is anyone surprised that Will ended up getting the sweet dish for breakfast? And I got the delicious Filipino longanisa breakfast. So let's be very, very honest here. First off, I didn't even choose which breakfast I got. Jose went up there and ordered one of each. Secondly, he doesn't even like longaniza, and he knows that, so he's being a fraud. He doesn't like it. He's tried it multiple, multiple times, and he was like, oh, it's gonna be different here, and the lady was like, no, it's actually from Cebu, so it's not any different. Like, she put him on blast. Ooh, these are fluffy. Mm, I can't wait to have a bite. Oh, wait, it's one pancake. <laughs> um, ma'am, this is just one big pancake. Where's my other one? Hello? Anyone? Okay, guys, we just finished eating breakfast, and the most embarrassing thing happened to me last night. So, the way the 
compound is set up is that there is a circular terrace right in the middle and extending branching out the circle terrace are all the bungalows and what ended up happening is that they all almost looked the same and I got turned around and didn't know which bungalow we were staying at so I went to the first one and went up the stairs and realized that that wasn't our bungalow because there was someone laying on the bed that wasn't Will so I tiptoed my way back down then I got to the second bungalow which I thought was ours and I really had to use the bathroom so I opened the back mandala tribe doors and used the bathroom and realized that that wasn't our bathroom either or our bungalow so at that point I was just so confused and felt like a lost child and I was just praying that what would come out asking where the hell I'm at and somehow he heard my words my prayers and he opened the door and he was literally in the opposite side of where I thought the bungalow was at but I was just laughing like how did I get lost in a small compound of just eight bungalows maybe some feedback would be put a number in the tribe house that way we won't get lost but that was a little embarrassing and Will was cracking up and did not expect anything different from me. Oh my God, are you telling him when you literally got lost <laughs> and thought you were in our bungalow? Yeah. That's Jose in a nutshell. We'll just leave it there. You guys, it's a day that we were not looking forward to and that's checkout day here at Mandala Tribe. You guys, it's been a lot of fun mm -hmm. actually. And again, if you've seen in our last video, which we'll link here below, quick look at a TV farm <laughs> in Cebu in Carmen, Philippines. That was our Boy Scout dream. This here is like our adult dream come true. Because mm -hmm. we've always wanted to have like that outdoor bathroom that looks, you've seen the, the bathroom. Everything from the food to the wonderful staff and just the overall vibe of this accommodation, we couldn't have asked for a better start to our time here in Tiki Hor. Yeah, everybody's been kind. Everybody's been very attentive. Mm -hmm. They go out of their way to help. And I, I feel like that's not like a broken record, but in the <laughs> Philippines, I guess that's just how it is. And we're so very, very, very thankful for that. Even if you just do one night, it's worth, it's worth the stay. And, and guys, we learned that they also do short-term rentals. Oh, yeah. So if you're looking to live the island life for at least one month, they offer one month rentals. And with that, we have a special shout out to Roseanne and Femelin. Mm -hmm. They work here. So, so kind. I, I, love I love it, I love it, I love it. With all that being said and done, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for our upcoming videos here in Siggy Horror because you wouldn't want to miss it and the adventure keeps on going. And again, to everyone here at uh, Mandela Tribe, thank you for the invite. Thank, thank you for you your graciousness. And we'll be back again, guys. We will.